The executive yuan has drafted a 60 billion NT package to cushion the economic impact of the COVID-19 outbreak. One component is discount promotions that encourage spending at restaurants, food stores and retail outlets. The package needs to be passed by the legislative yuan to come into effect. The rare sight of Kaohsiung Mayor Han Guoyu emerging from the executive yuan on Thursday drew the attention of many. Officials had met to discuss ways to soften the blow of the COVID-19 outbreak on Taiwan's industry. We are currently working on drafting special regulations and allocating a budget. All departments held countless meetings to take stock of the situation. The scale of their proposals far exceeded the amount of 60 billion NT but we set the budget at 60 billion NT. The special regulations and the budget will be good for one year. To support sectors, including transport and agriculture, the executive yuan aims to send a relief package for review next week at the legislative yuan. The Ministry of Economic Affairs has proposed discount vouchers to stimulate the tourism sector. For example, you spend money at a restaurant. Say you spend 1,000 NT to get a discount of 100 or 200 NT. This 100 or 200 NT discount is paid for by the government. Right now, we're thinking restaurants, night markets and commercial districts. They'll all be included in our program. During the year of the SARS outbreak, we saw a V-shaped rebound in quarterly and yearly economic growth. Economic growth follows the patterns of consumer spending. The government's goal must be to boost the rebound. The executive yuan said that the relief measure would not be cash vouchers, but discount vouchers. It said the measure would roll out only after the epidemic is deemed contained. The Ministry of Economic Affairs has announced an extension of its ban on face mask exports. We will indeed extend the ban on mask exports until late April. Secondly, the requisitioning of face masks. That will also be extended until late April. Of course, it all depends on the epidemic situation. If it slows down, there is the possibility that these measures will be ended early. The executive yuan said it was working to avert crisis by ensuring the supply of protective products and minimizing the outbreak's economic blow.